Well, again, Mr Speaker, there are a number of questions. And uh, let's start with the first of those. Is the franchising system in disarray? Of course it is not. If you look, if you look at what has happened over our last 20, 25 years in our rail network, we have seen passenger growth of unprecedented proportions. We now have more people travelling upon our railways. We have more services run by our railways at a greater level of safety than ever before. The franchising system has delivered, uh, it's been a key ingredient in that delivery. So do I think that the franchising system is over? Absolutely not. What I think we need to do is look at how the future will, ev uh, will evolve. That, of course, is where the Williams Review is going. We know that franchising has helped to get the system from A to B, reversing years of decline. We now need to see what system we will have as we take it through to the next stage. Oh. Stagecoach uh, informed in all of this. Well, Stagecoach knew that they had bid uh, non compliantly. They acknowledged to the department they had bid non compliantly. The Right Honourable Gentleman asked about litigation. Uh, well, uh, the Government doesn't want to be so, but we are completely confident that this bid has been evaluated fairly, decided fairly. It is business as usual in the awarding of a franchise on our rail network. In terms of the uh, East Coast Main Line, is this payback? No, this is, a, this is a nonsense of a question, quite frankly, absolute nonsense. This is an entirely separate matter. This was a bid that was won on merit by the strongest bid. It offered the best bid in terms of new trains, more services, more Sunday services, more early and late services. So this was won on merit. If a company uh, has chosen to bid non-compliantly, that will be their fault. In terms of passing the cost on to the private sector, well, that again is a nonsense because these are private sector pension schemes. The rail operating companies have a section of the rail pension scheme. Their trustees will meet with the, and discuss things with the pension regulator. But is this a question of the government seeking to uh, remove responsibility? No, this is a private matter, and the trustees will be dealing with that in their own way. I, uh, yes, the last question from the Honourable Gentleman was uh, the trades unions. Have I met with the trades unions? I have met with uh, the RMT, and I have met with ASLEF, and I have written to them on this occasion uh, to, to uh, highlight this award today.